Beloved, when was your last confession? When have you taken the time in your own life to inventory it where you felt like there was such a burden on you that you were able and willing to confess something in your life that you knew that wasn't right, that it had become a burden of guilt to you and you were carrying it and it was eating at the fabric of your soul. When was the last time you confessed to someone that things uh, are not right in your life? Many times we walk in this life and we seem to cover ourselves in a glass house, always concerned about someone throwing a rock and exposing us where we are found out. Beloved, one thing we have to understand is this. We are already found out by God Almighty. So it's not like no one knows what is going on in our lives and we've got it well hid. And sometimes it makes us walk in a sense of pride. But I believe that pride in turn turns to anger because what is in us truly wants to come out of our soul so that it might be released. And that's where confession comes in. And I quoted you the scripture in James 5 to 16 verse which says confess your faults one to another and pray for one another that you may be healed so dearly beloved when was the last time you confessed and allow your soul to just be open up because remember this it is not hid it is well exposed it may not be exposed to those who are around you, but beloved, I can say to you today that whatever you're going through, know this, if you are a child of the living God, that the Father has already revealed your heart to others. Believe that. You may think you're going through a burden by yourself, but God has already uh, given the answer to someone else. You cannot see it. You have not been exposed to the answer. You've been searching for the answer, looking for it, <clears throat> saying, Lord, if I confess it to you, I know that that will be enough. And sometimes that is enough. But because we are so at times disconnected with the Father, or don't even desire to even bring it to the Father, it because we have a tendency as human beings to believe that we can hide something within our soul and no one knows about it. And even God himself, we believe that he doesn't know. Beloved, the Lord knows the intent of our hearts. Dearly beloved, that is deep. He not only know our actions, but he knows the intent of the action that we do. No matter if we say that it was for good, he knows where it came from in our heart. He knows exactly what the purpose was, even when we are not very sure of why we did something. God knows exactly why you did it. Amen? So dearly beloved, let us know this. That confession is good. And we have to learn how to confess our faults to one another. And we are going to talk about that. 
But dearly beloved, first of all, we must get into position to know that we must confess our faults one to another. That is needful in the Christian community. And if we do not do that, there will not be any healing. And that's why there's so much disparity within the Christian community. Because we refuse to confess our faults to one another. If we really knew one another, if we really was aware that none of us are perfect, we all have our faults in our life, we all have the sin that so easily beset us that Paul writes about. When we know this and we are aware of this, dearly beloved, more and more we know how to handle the grace of God toward the lives of others. And beloved, above all, we will not judge unless we so desire to be judged. And whatever way we judge others, exactly that will be meted out to us also. So, beloved, that's why we would walk in compassion and empathy and mercy because we desire to receive the same from our Heavenly Father. So, beloved, when was the last time you confess? When was the last time you even confessed to the Father? of your shortcomings, of your sins, of the things in your life that you know is contrary to His will. Well, beloved, we need to know this because if we don't, we'll surround ourselves with pride, believe we're something that we're not, then ultimately we become angry people. And dearly beloved, the Lord desire not for us to be angry people. Beloved, be blessed in Jesus' name.